Taking a live look downtown now at the skyline, Ooh. at least trying to a little shaky out there. That's mm. because that's the wind that meteorologist Tara Hastings was warning us about. Yeah. We got some systems coming in. Yeah, we've got uh, some rain, some snow, maybe a little bit of a wintry mix mm. as well. And then the really cold temperatures too, along Ooh. with the wind. So we've got a little bit of everything, right? I want to let you know that we're beginning to see some of that rain come to an end. But we're concerned about flash freezing tonight. So if you have the opportunity, if it's not raining where you are right now, might want to salt your uh, a sidewalk there or the steps because it might get a little slick later tonight. Want to let you know that we have picked up a new daily rainfall record for today. We picked up 1.49 inches of rain. The old record, not even an inch, set all the way back in 1883. Here's a look at the current radar right now. Again, a little bit of a lull here across much of the state in Indianapolis, especially in Point Southward. But let's go in a little bit closer and go a little bit farther northward where we are picking up some of that snow, moderate to heavy snow across parts of South Bend, northwest Indiana, Lake and Porter counties around the Rensselaer area as well. And then we'll go here in the metro area. A little bit of a lull in that precipitation, a little bit of a, a light wintry mix around Lebanon, also just to the north of Cicero. And then along 74, Shelbyville, some light rain showers for you as well. And then some more moderate uh, heavy rain right around the Wayne County area, just north of there, right around Winchester as well. We're going to take your phone and scan that QR code. It will take you right to our radar page, and you can take a look at Storm Tracker Radar for yourself. Here's future cast right around 7 o'clock. Again, a little bit of that lull in the precipitation, but a light wintry mix will be possible as we head into the early evening and then change over to all snow, especially from Indianapolis and areas north. I think by about midnight or so, everything is off to the east of us. As far as uh, that ice mixture here, we have the potential to pick up just a little bit of some light icing, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. I'm a little bit more concerned about the flash freezing later tonight. As far as snowfall amounts, we're going to get less than an inch here in the metro area. A little bit farther northward, we're going to see a tight gradient here between about one and three inches uh, just to the south of Lafayette, Kokomo, and Muncie, three to six farther northward. In some places in northern Indiana, six plus inches. That's where they do have that winter storm warning. We have that winter weather advisory that is, has been issued a little bit farther southward and includes Indianapolis, not necessarily for the snow, but for the potential uh, for that light icing and also those, the flash freezing that we could see later tonight as well. We'll drop down at about 27 degrees at 11. 11 o'clock and overnight, I think temperatures will fall into the teens, about 16 in Indianapolis and single digits across parts of Kokomo and Lafayette as well. Tomorrow, it is going to be another cold one as well with temperatures holding steady here into the 20s. Right now, we're at 34 degrees out there. Feels like temp at 23 and those winds are going to be pretty gusty as well throughout the early evening hours and eventually will begin to die down as well. In your Peterman Brothers eight day forecast, we're going to show you that we're going to see temps around 28 on Saturday, warming up back in the 50s on Sunday. That trend continues into Monday and Tuesday with a chance for some showers on Tuesday.